soap decadence and I'm going to be making a soap today. I'm making Loving Spell, which um, is really lovely, um, sort of orange, sweet fragrance. Um, it smells lovely. It's a Victoria's Secret dupe as far as I'm aware. So I thought I'd join, let you join me making it. I've got my everything in here apart from the lye so that's my buttermilk yogurt and double cream as well as a little kale in clay rice flour oat flour soya flour plus obviously my oil so i've got olive oil rice bran oil um sunflower oil cocoa butter shea butter i don't think i've left anything out but i'm just going to give that a quick buzz up I hope everyone is doing well. The weather did start warming up, but it's quite grim today. It's been raining. But we have had a few days of sunshine, which has been nice. go in with the lye water which has my tuss of silk in it and I forgot to pre-strain it so I'm just going to quickly strain it now. I'm soaping at room temperature. I want to say hi to a couple of people. Um, I know I've mentioned Kim at Alamo Candelaria and Tiggy at Future Primitive Soap and Celine at I Am Handmade. <clears throat> I've mentioned them in videos before. But today I want to mention a couple of um, my across the border friends in America and Canada. Um, there's Kenny at, um, she's, <laughs> she calls herself the Messy Soaper. She's at Royal Epperberry Soaps and Diana at Dandy Creations and Sabrina at Sab Soaps. So hello ladies, it's been fun talking with you guys. I have enjoyed our interactions. <laughs> so I shall put all of their details in the description box so you can check out their channels. They all, those three have YouTube channels as well as um, selling soap so and other products. I'm sure they all do other products too. But anywho, let's get this emulsified and then I can spit it off. Split some off for my base. Quite a bit of that. Let's see, is that enough? A little bit more. And actually, I think I'll go even further with that. Right. do it. So in here I am going to put some orange mica. I should have opened these before I started. And they're quite difficult to get into with gloves on. And I do have my goggles on. I know sometimes I forget to put them on but 
I'm trying to remember because that's really quite dangerous not to. Right, so I want this sort of a peachy colour. I'm going to put a bit of orange. more orange than peach but orange fades so little bit of the fragrance in here. And I've got some calendula petals that I've broken up a little bit in my coffee grinder. set up a bit in the mould so that I can um, sort of layer my next things on top. Still really loose, buzz it up a little bit more. Scrape down my sides, stir out any bubbles because I do have a few. I'll just stand up for a second, just grab my mold. Make sure you guys can see. I hope you can see. And pour this in. Scrape my 
This does smell rather lovely. It's sort of, I don't know, sherbet -y. It's like orange sherbet. It smells sweet and orangey and, I don't know, kind of effervescent. It's really nice. Right, I'm just going to bang this down. Okay, doggy. Now, I did get quite a few bubbles come up. So, hopefully... There won't be any in the soup when I cut it. Right. So, that is that bit done. Now I've made a bit of a mess. Don't get on the sides. There we go. Right, I am going to do a little mica line on this one. Grab some orange, put it in my little tea strainer. Just try to get a nice even layer without putting on too much because I don't want my soap to split. on the side of the soap, which I don't want. any left on the sides I can always plane that off so yeah there's my mica line move this over and now I'm going to do the rest of the soap and I've got soap all over my handle Ugh. right I say right a lot don't I oh well next Right, this is not dirty, it was just had my milky mix in it. So, I'm going to do three colours. <coughs> do the bit in there, and the bit in there. Even. No, I need some more in this one. That's about right. So now, in the big one, I'm going to be doing some 
TD. So let me just get my fragrance in this portion. Might as well get it in this bit and in this bit while I'm at it. Scrape my fragrance pot out. And all of that good smelling lovely gorgeousness. I want all of that fragrance. Don't want to leave any behind. You'd be surprised how much is left in the pot if you don't scrape it. If you just dump it in and then put it down, it will collect at the bottom and you'll see that you've actually missed out on a fair amount of fragrance. So. I always scrape. <clears throat> right. Tea. Ooh, I'm going to drop that. Ugh, now I've got TD all over my gloves. Oh well. Still like that to be just a little bit lighter. in one and some pink in the other. Ooh, got a bit of pink in the orange, never mind. first. Yeah. Get this a little 
So glad spring is here because it's so nice to have flowers on oh, the Japanese cherry blossom trees. Um, they look so gorgeous at the moment. It's a shame the flowers don't last very long, but they're blossoming at the moment. My poor mum is dying with hay fever. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't really suffer with that too much. If I do have a sneezing fit, then uh an antihistamine tablet normally sorts that right out for me but my mum suffers really badly with it even when I buy her a bunch of flowers it will <laughs> it will affect her poor thing right let's get this little stir scrape down the sides stir out some of these bubbles that I forgot in the here. Oh, I can't stand it when I've got crap all over the table. Get my orange I stir down as well. Hopefully my base is set up enough now for me to get this on breaking through, I'm hoping anyway. And my white isn't really white, it's um, still quite yellow, but that's what happens when you use extra virgin olive oil. And I prefer it to pumice myself because pumice olive oil is just, it's mixed. So it's a lower grade of olive oil and it's also mixed with other vegetable oils. So it's not fully olive oil. I prefer to use the extra virgin, just go with the deep green stuff. As that's the, um, the best one, best quality I think. Right. I'm going to do a little in the pot swirl with these three. Of course, some of this in here. Just a little amount to put on top. Oh, there's my post. That's enough for on top. And the same with the orange. Pour some in, high and low. Again, I'll just save just the small amount on the top. Right. I'm going to give this 
This way round. Now you probably can't see as well this way, but I need it this way to be able to pour. Give that another quick stir. Just move that out of the way and stopping me. I use my spatula to break the form. aren't muddied too much. I don't think they are. Should have a nice wispy mix of colours going on inside. Right, so cut it. Right, I shall just scrape down some of these bits that are up the sides. Give it a wee bang and decorate the top. <coughs> One moment. Okie dokie. Actually, there's probably no point in me doing that because I still have to do my top. So I might as well leave that alone. We'll just scrape off my spatula. Get the last of the soap off. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to get this on top. And then we're just going to splatter it haphazardly. Maybe I'll just do a chopstick. It's a bit too loose to give it peaks. Possibilities. I think I will just go up and down that way. Down there. This way. I think that looks okay. 
spin up a thing. Here goes Central Bad again. Alright, so that is the top done. Well, I've got some bits I want to put on top. Right, let me just take off my gloves. I've got some calendula that I didn't grind up. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit on top. Not a lot, it's just for aesthetics. should be okay. I'm just going to push it down just a little bit with my chopstick otherwise it's just going to fall straight off when I cut it. must remember to cut this on its side so that I don't get drag marks from the calendula and also not to disturb my mica line because it will Mica lines can drag colour through your soap when you cut them, so it's best to cut them on their sides. That way you've got less chance of the mica dragging through. Okay, dokie. That looks alright. And of course, it wouldn't be the same if I didn't grab some glitter. I like glitter. Give this a nice sprinkling. Yeah, I'm not shy when it comes to glitter. Love spell or loving spell. I'm probably going to change the name, but the fragrance was love spell. So here you go. So I shall bring you back in a sec for the cutting. Obviously, it's for a sec for you, but it's going to be tomorrow for me. See you in a bit. Here it is. Out of the mold. Smells absolutely. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. It's the only way I could describe it. And I think I am going to call it orange sherbet because that's what I think it smells like. So yes, this is orange sherbet. Just uh, trim off those sides which will make um, cleaning up the soap a bit easier bit less to do. So let's cut an in piece and we'll get a look at what's inside. Oh no, I'm supposed to cut it to the side, aren't I? Right, yeah, look, I've got that, if it'll focus, I've got that drag line because I was supposed to cut it on its side. But you can see the calendula inside. It looks pretty cool. <coughs> need to put it on its side now. Right, let's get a full slice going. The sun is out. I can't believe it. The sun is out. Yoo-hoo. Spring is here at last. There we go. I've got some drag lights from the calendula inside but there's nothing I can do about that 
but it's pretty cool you can see the mica line there and it's a delicate in the pot swirl so yeah I'm happy with that definitely looks pretty cool to me quite like the way the calendula looks in the bottom even though it's going to give me drag marks and even if I clean it I'll still get drag marks and use botanicals not a lot you can do about that just got to live with it so I hope everyone is doing a-okay I'm looking forward to spring and eventually summer when it finally gets here oh, can't wait can't wait to get in the garden and sit on the sun lounger read a book and get some vitamin D there's the next one it's just a really nice delicate peach colour and then a delicate pink can't really see the orange in the swirl at the top but I think once the air gets to it you'll see it more colours sort of change when you first cut them the colours are always a little bit muted and then once you've um, let the air get to it the colours sort of just pop back out there we go I need to do my nails they're an absolute mess I've broken a couple of them Ah, oh, the frustration. They grow so fast, and when they get to a certain length, they just have a really um, bad tendency of breaking. I will be open for business soon. Um, I've got my certificates and everything going. Got that. So I've just got a couple of more things to do paperwork wise because all of this has to be put onto a thing called the portal which is a pain in the posterior quite frankly but needs to be done and uh, yeah eventually I'll get a website going but for now I'll just be selling on Facebook so if you see anything you like soon you'll be able to get it woohoo times definitely exciting times and once we move because we're hoping to move this summer or oh, definitely before Christmas um, I will have eventually a soaping room once we we haven't found a house yet because I need a bungalow I need I need to get, get rid of these stairs so once we find a bungalow and we move in, we're hoping to have enough garden space to build a little Wendy house. Well, I call it a Wendy house, but it's basically a shed, but it's like a summer house for me to have as a soaping studio, which I can't wait for. It'd be so cool. Or I'd have to take over the house with my shenanigans so I have my own space have all my stuff and it won't be a mess in the house which will make a change because my dining room is no longer a dining room and because it's linked to my living room I'm it's difficult to get things done without anyone here because you know if somebody's watching TV or what have you I don't have the peace and quiet to work in and obviously, we kind of need the dining table to eat on. But we haven't been able to eat on it for a very long time. We've <laughs> taken it over. So yes, can't wait, can't wait. Where's the next one? Okay, Jackie, okay, last slice. Pretty much an inch. Wait 
take off just a sliver of this one. Okay, that's so not going to work. I'll do that with the planer because that's not going to work. I've got a bit of a line there. Well, I'll sort that out on the planer as well. So yes, that's the last slice. And it does smell like orange sugar. It smells gorgeous. Mm, nom, nom, nom. I made some bath bombs with these and um, every time I use it, my husband's like, oh my God, you smell so good. Because when you get out of the bath, you still smell like the bath bomb. And um, yeah, I'll have those for sale too, too as well. I use um, oats, flour and um, cocoa butter, all kinds of goodness and epsom salts and it's clay it's packed full of yummy yummy goodness but i also use an emulsifier so that the bath water isn't oily it turns sort of milky so yeah i'll have those for self too. so yeah i'll see you all soon with another video i'm probably going to do a beer soap next because i've had my beer frozen for a little while now and um so yeah look out for that Take care now peeps and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.